morning evening afternoon wherever you are don't from kenya greeners tv and back again with another video so kwame as i was telling you off camera uh quite some interesting games we have ahead of us we're now at the end business of the season uh for the next five games i think we have before international break uh the winnable games the winnable games so this monday we're actually meeting up with uh sheffield sheffield but is a team that you know we went past i think the first leg we beat them five nil for that game but they watched with you at your place remember the one that in kitchen scored a hat trick mm. yeah yeah but uh before we get into that let's just talk about uh some interesting news we saw on arsenal's website so thomas Pate, during timba jesus and uh zinchenko so i said zinchenko is part of it i thought it was just Pate, Pate, jesus and timba uh, when I you think, say part of it Tomiyasu and Zinchenko are almost there, not yet there, I think. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, in terms well, of maybe, injury. Maybe, well, maybe you have it wrong. Maybe. Yeah, Let's can come, confirm. But what, yeah. I, what I know is that it's Yuri and Timba. Yeah. Uh, Yuri and Timba, Pate and Jesus. But uh, as per the press conference, right. Teta clarified and said that uh, Yuri and Timba is being managed very close but he can't play like a full game so they are mm. they're just he's, he's already training with the team but he, he he can't start the Sheffield but maybe the next one he can he can play some minutes so the one that mm. is clearly available is Pate and uh, Jesus okay which is still good which is very good because imagine a midfield of of Odegaard Rice and Pate uh, and you, you know, we like we have we have so many options. You're complete, you're complete. You see, what makes it interesting is uh, like you're saying earlier on, uh, teams are actually losing form. Uh, when I say losing form, is they have injuries. If you look at Liverpool, Liverpool don't have legs. And remember mm -hmm. last season, actually, what really led to us now, uh, dropping it's the same down thing now. that's happening to them now because we lost Saliba, yes, we lost the shoes. And remember, they still they still have the Europa Europa League, and Europa League is so draining. In fact, if I'm, oh, if oh, I'm remember, Liverpool are, are in Europa. Yes, they're in Europa, they're in Europa. <laughs> so, man, I'm telling you, uh, legs, legs is they don't have legs. But anyway, like you say, this is now where where I replace with now. It's more of like it, it it's you're, you're like caught up within luck because you see, this is football. We could be here talking about Liverpool having injuries, but they could have the experience, but the club has the experience and maybe they could go all the way. Yeah. Uh, so luck, luck is definitely a factor by the end of this matter. But anyway, I just wanted to hear your thoughts. You guys can also let us know your thoughts. Uh, the fact that you know, have Julian Timber, Thomas Pate, and uh, Jesus. First of all, let's talk about Jesus. I mean, what do you make of it? I mean, with the situation, first of all, he has... For the first time, for the yeah. first time, we need to give Ateta his flowers because literally everybody in our squad has improved. From Ben yeah. White, Kai Havertz. When the season started, Kai Havertz, you know, normally it takes a player a whole season to adapt. Yeah. And Ateta's system is more complicated. So that's the reason why when we started, everybody was struggling to understand the system fully. So mm. Ben White was a bit shaky. He's more stable right now and confident. Mm -hmm. Kai Havas is more confident. Um, who else? Um, Trossard is, is gathering form, although the physicality is struggling, but he's scoring. Yeah. So literally, almost everybody in the team is scoring. In fact, the way we are playing, the way we are scoring, because right now, Arsenal has the best defense in the league. Arsenal has the most goals scored from set pieces. Arsenal has is only one goal shy of Liverpool in terms of goals scored. But, yep. but as of just before January, that record was different. It's like just in five games, we changed our our, our, our outlook in, in as far as scoring is concerned. Even like, the goal they, difference between us and Man City. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. The yeah. goal difference was so huge. But in five games, five nil, six nil, what what now? The goal difference, our goal difference is three three goals higher than Man City and one goal uh, le less, less than uh, Liverpool. Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. So, so 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 we are in a sweet spot, and then 
luck is also on our side. One, I always like it when we are chasing. When we are on top, we sort of like fumble, panic. Now we mm. are we are we are just we are just like two Behind points there. away. We're just mm. there chasing. And then yep. now once they start dropping points, we just keep the gap bigger. So our players mm. are very hungry. The XG, that means when we when you're talking about the XG, XG is opportunities in front of Arsenal's goal to score. Not just scoring mm. from outside or whatever. We have we given out of all the top teams, we've given Man City the lowest XG in five years. Imagine they that. Said, oh, they said Man City have a, they said Man City have an off day. We did the same embarrassment to Liverpool. They had only two shots on goal the whole game, and one of them, a national player, donated a goal in Gabriel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, in terms of XG. I mean, it's crazy. They, they kept on saying, oh, Liverpool had an off day, Man City had an off day, now Newcastle has an off day. Everybody has an off day. Just say Arsenal is better. <laughs> Arsenal is better. Let's speak the truth. Arsenal is better. Like, we are... Like, it's so scary that some people are feeling like they're having pain in their stomach to accept that Arsenal has just become superior and they have just... It has just happened, like Ateta was doing all stuff of us, behind. Yeah, all of an idea. Yeah. yeah, I was just working behind the scenes, shaping the squad, trying new things, saying Ateta, Ateta's football is too complex. He's overcoaching the team. They don't know what to do. Yet, sometimes it's not about the coaching. The, the people just need time. Even, even Thierry Henry took more than a season to adapt to the Arsenal game. Mm. Most players, unless you're special like Rice, a hundred million player, or Mbappe, yep. or something like that, where you 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 can hit the ground running, right? And fit in immediately. But, fit in immediately, but the truth is, uh, uh, we are just picking form at the right time. And if you remember our chart in the beginning of the of the season, yeah, when I said when we were just winning one nil, struck and and just scrapping through. As they are mm. trying to get the system, I told you what that I, I pray that I, because I know how Ateta works, that we'll start picking midway through the season. Do you remember that talk between you and I? I remember, I remember, I remember. When you, were, when, you were, when you were projecting where Arsenal could be, yeah, and then we were not so confident because of the they were just scrapping through one nil, two one, that kind of a thing. And, and then we remember we just had an immediate injury too to Julian Timber, which messed up because Julian Timber was shined in the whole preseason. He was our best mm. player. So Ateta had to regroup. He had to play Pate as a... Was it a right back? Pate yeah, got right injured. Back. Position, so yeah. we lost yeah. Pate. We lost Pate. We lost Julian. So he had to reconstruct the team. And that's why he had to make sure all these players can play different things. And people thought, oh, you think you're trying to be like Pep. You're trying... But he learned from Pep. For you to survive and play for long, you need to have players playing in different positions. Right, and then you yep. have to have squad, squad depth. So for the first time, we had some degree, not the best, but we had some squad depth in terms of defenders. Kiwi or Kim, he was forced to play. Him, he was used to playing centre back. Now he was made to play yep. left back, and uh, inverted. So nobody has mastered that apart from Zinchenko, and the only person mm. who could do it was Timba. He got an injury in the first game of the season. So you right. see, we have a degree. If some things our stars were aligning. Because last season, to be honest, Arsenal was supposed to win the Premier League last season. An eight-point yeah. gap. I know that thing is paining them. And that's like you're seeing like the hunger, the anger, the way they, the way we we, we dismantled uh, Newcastle. That was mm. just... Uh, we were annoyed. And we were like... Ah, no, no. So and right now, our, our feet is on the ground. And I think... I don't want to be foolhardy and I don't want to have overconfidence. But the truth is my belly, I find my belly and I think this is the best chance for us to win the Champions League and to win the, the, the Premier League. The Premier. Because being beaten by Porto at this stage, all those things were wake-up calls, wake-up calls. You'd rather have that lesson now than in a final. Yep. So nobody is ready for Arsenal's defence. Nobody is ready for Arsenal's set pieces. Nobody is ready for Arsenal's energy. 
like the way we are playing is just like we're just blowing away teams like controlling dominating like it's crazy you know like you're playing the best football in the world right now arsenal is playing yep. the best football. so i just want to be positive and uh, and i think i'm not too worried about uh, sheffield in fact i'm more worried about us losing momentum because after the two games they're going for the the break international break yeah yeah so arsenal should be firm Julian Timber is not going to the Euros. Uh, uh, Jesus should not go to Brazil. But you see the problem, Brazil, Jesus might insist he goes, he goes there, gets an injury. He's, a, he's, he's an injury. out for the rest of the season. So that's, that's what I'm yeah. just praying that this time, they just put their foot down. Jesus, don't go anywhere. You've been injured, stay. Mm. Pate shouldn't go anywhere. No, you, they have already done the African Cup of Nations. African Cup, so yeah. we have Pate. So after the two games, we'll have two and a half weeks. And these guys are just coming off from injury. So if they play a few minutes for Sheffield, and then the next game they play a few minutes, then they have two and a half week break. Then they do the internal friendlies, like the ones we normally mm. do in pre-season. Mm. We might yep. just come and just shock people. Shock. Because right now we are we are peaking. We are at our peak. We are not going down. That's Other actually, teams are going down. As we are picking, yeah. yeah, and you know that that is what makes it very very interesting. As you know, this this actually a very good comparison as opposed to last season because last season actually we lost form. We yeah, were very we, hot we, by uh, the way. Lost, towards... Remember, we lost Saliba, our spine. Yeah, we, we lost Saliba, yeah. and we lost Pate, and we lost mm. Jesus. Yeah, so, so we were just making do, trying yeah, to tweak so, things and trying to yeah, see if so, things can yeah. work. So now we're, we're in the business end. We're in the business end of the season where we are. Yeah, we have to be in the top form. Pate is coming back. Jesus is coming back, and then just from the conversation as we started, even Jesus doesn't have, can't be guaranteed a first team spot right now. The way we are playing. Yeah. In fact, even Havertz is doing a better job than him. Havertz yes, is scoring like, goals. Like he's scoring. So 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 Jesus. I, by the way, I'm not saying this out of bad. Like, I like that problem that Jesus yes. cannot, he, he can't guarantee, like before, like last year, why he was yeah. like, it was guaranteed. He's not guaranteed right now. Yeah. But the truth is, now that makes me feel like I'm on City. That means having Jesus on the bench. And then there's something I like about Jesus. Jesus loves the Champions League. Oh, so yeah. just the fact, that, the fact that he's fit. And we are, we are just uh, coming to the Champions League. Then he comes just at the right time because now there are a few games you can count them to the final. Yeah. And Jesus yeah. comes in now. And we are in playing fact, the way we are playing Jesus. now. Talking about Jesus, in fact, even him, he said one thing. Because looking at Jesus, he left City before City actually got the Champions League. So two things that he, two things he has on his, uh, on his to-do list that he needs to take. He basically World said Cup. that he wants to win the World Cup. And he wants to win the Champions League. Champions League. So, man, I need Jesus. Must and, and the Copa Libertadores with Palmeiras. Yeah, so those three yes, 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 yes. So, I'm telling you, by the even if you look... Jesus, by the if, if you look at the way he's been playing the Premier League, he's not been that good. But the Champions League, the guy is fire. Jesus is fire in the Champions League. So, fire like, in the Champions this, League. Would be, yeah. this would be the right time, by the way, to... I mean, the whole idea is just money. That's the thing, injuries. It's a degree of luck for Arsenal. Let me tell you the yeah. truth. There is a degree of luck for Arsenal. Yeah. Look at now, Jude Bellingham is injured for Real Madrid. <laughs> right? Man City, how, how, how long is it? The, 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 the Bruyne is just back. Maybe three weeks or four weeks, but still, you see, when yeah. you come back from injury, you won't just start shining from the you first meeting minute. immediately. Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. And then Man City, Man City also, the Bruyne, if you've noticed, he's 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 not fully recovered. Yeah. And and the, and and have you seen Haaland goals are synonymous with De Bruyne. When De oh, Bruyne yes. is not playing well, he can't get fed the goals. So what the am I trying to what, what the, picture I'm, the picture I'm trying to paint to you is that there is just like the way we had bad luck last season, being eight points ahead and and throwing it away. Now I think I can. I can think I can thank our lucky stars that for the first time we are in a lucky position because we have not had to suffer with big teams in the yeah. first part of the Champions League. Now we are ready yeah. because of the portal, because yeah. of the playing, 
and the people coming back and, and the people understanding a data system, this is the mm. right time now to play the PSGs, the Real Madrid's. Like we are just at the right time. You see? Yes. So there's yes. a degree of luck that we have. The only thing is that now I think Ateta has a balancing act in terms of how to balance the the Premier League and the Champions League. If we if we if we if we take Porto for granted, we are kicked out in the next game, and now we only have yep. the Premier League, the Premier which, League. Will a, yep. which will be an advantage because we'll focus everything. But I feel like Ateta can make his name right here. If we reach the, Actually, the semi-finals or finals with the Champions League and then we come and win the Premier League. Because we have the best chance. I think Actually, when you look at it, we have the best chance to win. Actually, Both. as is right now, by the credit to Ateta. Because remember, just like, uh, you know... Okay, worst case scenario, but they don't win anything this season. And I'm praying whether that doesn't come to pass. But it's still, still a, successful, it's a successful season. Remember coming back after coming back to the Champions League after eight, is it eight ten years? Seven seven yeah? years for the first time. Seven yeah. years, yeah. Yeah. And then now we're not we're now in the knockout stages, and then at the same time also contesting for, for the Premier League. I mean, to be honest, that's, that's quite progressive. Yeah, that's yeah, progressive. Yeah. That's really really progressive. And we, have, and we don't and, and literally think about it, we really don't have a striker. See that, and we are scoring. See, that's what I'm saying. Our, our defense is the best. If our goals are spread, so it's not like the way Man City is depending on Haaland. Yes, everybody. Man, 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 Martinelli is gathering form. Saka is gathering form. Trossard is gathering form. Havertz is gathering form. You see, so we yep. have goals spread. Then and our backs actually. Yeah. Our backs our are scoring mid- goals. Yes. And then defense, the Saliba and and Gabriel partnership is the best right now. Dominant, yeah. dominant. So like we control, there's no space to breathe. Yes. We, we, we take all the oxygen from the game that these guys don't know what to do. So now we have a right. good defense. We have the players who are off form before January, now coming mm. back to form. Right? Yep. Jesus coming yep. back and being told, Bro, you are good, but you don't have a space in the first team. You have to earn it. So now, the, that motivation of competition. Yeah, yeah. You have to fight for your just, position. You have to fight for your position. So I think this is 100%. the best cocktail for us. And I just pray that uh, Ateta uses... I mean, that's why I said I trust in Ateta. But I think yeah. he's, he's been doing a lot of work behind the scenes. Because literally every player that was off form has improved. Martinelli has improved. Saka was was playing badly, has improved. Kavats has improved. Uh, Rice, because he, he plays uh, nine out of nine, mostly eight, nine, we might not see his improvement. But right now, Rice can yep. play forward as a number eight, can play as a number mm. six, can play even as a central defender. When, when our formation changes, when we are being attacked, sometimes yep. he falls back as a central defender when yep, somebody yep. has gone ahead. So, yes. we are so sophisticated. Like, right now, Arsenal, I, I'm, I'm just crossing like crossing my fingers. Like, we might just shock the world. We just might shock the world. Anyway, Kwame, man, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for dropping your thoughts. You guys also drop your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, big man, I think I'll be seeing you on the next one. Cheers.